It's my honor and privilege to present an honorary Doctor of Computer Science, honoris causa, to our dear graduate, Ying Wu Zong. And I'll read a summary of the text from the degree. Dear Ying Wu Zong, we honor you as an outstanding graduate of MIU. Your achievements in business have demonstrated your profound understanding and mastery of creative intelligence the unified field of all the laws of nature. Within a short time after graduating in 2007 with your MIU master's degree in computer science, you founded your own game business, Fun Plus. Within a few short years, Fun Plus became one of the most significant companies in the entire global gaming industry, generating $1 billion in revenue. You next set your goal to be one of the top three international interactive entertainment companies in the world, and you're well on your way to achieving that goal, too. We're very proud of you. We honor you for your dedication in creating joy and fun in the world, your desire, steady focus, and perseverance in bringing challenging and wholesome entertainment to more than five million people is noble and inspiring. You have stated that you never limit your goal based on what you have accomplished but always pursue bigger dreams. Your achievements illustrate the timeless Chinese wisdom expressed in the Yijing. The superior man continually aims for the highest, just as heaven always functions with perfect balance and vigor. Your company, Fun Plus, puts fun first for a worldwide audience. You have brought millions of people joy and learning through fantasy and strategy. You have created a coherent corporate culture where people of all backgrounds enjoy working together with dedication to a common goal. As you have said, not only does Fun Plus culture people to be successful in activity, it also enlivens the inner core where dreams begin. Surely the root of your powerful influence lies in your inner being. Your success reflects something emanating from your heart Given true and vigorous expression in your word and deed, your influence has been and will continue to be great and to be for the greater good. You are respected as a visionary, as a resilient leader, as a practical scientist, and as a joyful and reliable human being. We honor you for your commitment to be the best in what you do and to give yourself fully to your purpose as displayed throughout your life. As your mother university, MIU thanks you for your superior choices, for your high goals, for your kindness and friendliness, your outreach to all humanity, and your innate goodness. You are among the best sons and daughters of this university, MIU. We are especially grateful for your recent timely support of the university during the current world health crisis. Your actions speak clearly of your purity of heart. You are an illuminating role model for this year's graduates and for all MIU alumni. We honor and thank you for the bliss and fun you have brought to our world family. We wish you future success in accomplishing your desires and rapid growth of enlightenment and unfoldment of your full creative genius. This is our diploma being awarded to our gra outstanding graduate as a doctor of computer science Dr. Ying Wu Zong. Go ahead, please. Thank you all. Good morning and greetings, everyone. It's our honor to join the great commencement of Maharishi International University of 2020. I'm Yang Fan from China Teaching Center at Shanghai Online. We are glad to have Professor Sun Yu Yang and Professor Hong Bin from Shanghai Theater Academy to present this honorary doctor degree to Dr. Zhong Ying. Hello. 我是杨帆 
毕业典礼和学位授予仪式。我们特别邀请上海戏剧学院的洪斌教授和孙玉阳教授一起，为我们的荣誉博士钟英武颁发证书。Please welcome Dr. Zhong Yingwu to give us a speech. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, this is Zhong Yingwu from Shanghai. Uh, thank, you, thank you for all to stay early and also here stay, light, stay late. I'm very incredible honored and grateful for this prestigious honorary doctorate. Thank you, Board of Trustees, Dr. Jeffrey Emerson, Dr. John Hanglin, Dr. Vicky Harriot, Dr. Greg Gustery, and all MIU faculties. It is indeed an honor, particularly in the light of coronavirus. Although I'm not physically standing in front of you, my mind and heart are with you and with my beloved and my you. We're connected not just by internet, we're connected through internet right now. <laughs> my warmest congratulation to the extraordinary MIU graduation class of 2020, to your proud parents grandparents, siblings, and friends. I know this not, may not be how you envision your graduation ceremony, and you may not feel this way, but you are truly the chosen ones for such a special time. As MIU anomaly, we are very fortunate. We learned universal laws of nature that apply to every field and were provided with holistic, nourishing, and harmony support to grow us as a whole human being with a happy social life. MIU is a place to awaken the consciousness and awareness, facilitate expedition to discovery who we really are, activate and empower our potential. I humble that. I got, I got to this opportunity to experience the extraordinary school. 14 years ago, when I got off a plane, after two, 24 hours of flight and two transfers, put my feet on the land of America for the first time, I started a new adventure, eating organ organic vegetables practicing transcendental meditation in MIU, build my body and the soul. And with time passing by, I experienced and also have a deeper understanding of how profoundly the impact of MIU experience has shaped my life. TM is a very powerful tool and gradually became part of myself 
as I practice more to help me stay focused and live in the presence. It also gives me the ability and energy to do inquiry deeply and guide my curiosity to explore. Upon graduating from MIU, I worked for several Silicon Valley companies like us.com and Rocky as engineer director and product lead. I always had a dream of creating the real interactive and inclusive entertainment for each and everyone in the world. Something that was different from what we had at that moment. In 2010, my friend in us.com was convinced to join me as co-founder. And together, we started FunPlus in San Francisco. And then later on, had more people in Beijing, the city where I met my love, who became my wife later on. 2020 is the 10th anniversary of FunPlus. Our office moved five times to increase capacity and the colleagues are collaborating from offices and homes from 20 countries. Millions of players worldwide enjoy games like Family of Fun, Family Fun Seaside, King of Avalon, Guns of Glory, State of Survival, to name a few. And even more watched eSports team from Plus Phoenix playing against other world leading teams and was inspired and liked by the passion and the dedication of a group of young people who are also your generation in their 20s and full of faith, passion, and infinite possibilities. From generating the most engaging content on Facebook to creating refreshingly fun and interactive experience on mobile platform, from launching Publishing Plus for all free-to-play developers to simplify and transparent mobile gaming publishing process, to winning 2019 League of Legends World Championship final within two years of FunPlus Phoenix founding. Each step along this original and meaningful journey, small or big, light or heavy, when look back now, may seem well-planned and solid grounded. However, there was all kinds of traps, uncertainty, and failures at every moment. Once in the deepest dark between dawn, I locked myself in a small place, considering how to tell employees who share deep mutual trust with me that we are almost run out of money. And that was just weeks before our first flagship product, Family Farm, hit the market. We were saved. Two years later, after standing solid in a casual game, we decided to devote 5 million US dollars and dozens of talents to conquer a new genre, SOG game genre. The first game, Dragon Wars, had a world-class all-star team from EA and Blizzard. But interestingly, suffered several meltdowns. After burning three tons of budget in two years and showing no sign of success, most people left. And a few among the remainders wanted to continue exploring in past with souls. As I know from my past experience, the greatest things, the precious things, always come with cost. Then, therefore, I choose to fight. And later, the game turned into King of Avalon, one of the most popular games in the Apple Store since 2016. People call me a visionary leader, and I know it is philosophy of living in the present and following the purity of heart that fulfilled me with great optimism, resilient, and great. If I'm here to share you my two cents, Number one, please stick to your dream, hold on tight, and fight hard. 
Number two, live in present. Only focus on most important things, because most of the things that bother you right now will not be as important in one day, one week, one month, one year. Number three, talents come a long way. Perseverance comes longer. Number four, embrace uncertainty and nourish growth mindset. It's really okay not to have all the answers and screw up things at times as long as you iterate fast. Number five, practice meditation and do more inquiry. The internal source of intelligence is far more powerful than external drive or ego when facing challenges. Number six, eat well, eat healthy, be hand, be generous, have empathy for human beings, earth, and the world, the universe. Build resilient communities. If the world is going to get it better, it's because of you. Dear class of 2020, today is a beautiful start to where you are now. Never has a graduating class been called to step into the future with more purpose, vision, and hope. My fantasy is to create a world that lasting in one game. And your mission is to create a world that's lasting forever. And your mission, I wish you find passion and joy in your past. At peace with discomfort of step into the unknown. Have the courage and the optimism to follow your heart and the intuition. Go for what, no matter what obstacles are thrown, and meet the love of your life, who can truly understand and appreciate your intelligence and share some values deep inside. Hope you have a really happy life. Thanks for this incredible honor. Thank you for your love and the support. Truly appreciate your time and patience. Thank you. Dr. Zon, Dr. Zon, <clears throat> Dr. Zon, so we thank you for your insightful and comprehensive view and your statements, and it's so clear that you live this value, especially that I appreciated the one comment you made, if you want to change the world, it's by you, by your own inner value, and you so clearly describe and radiate and live that, and that's what we appreciate so much in all of our graduates, which you exemplify. Thank you so much, sir.